from everybody else. My deep ball, it has a little secret sauce to it, man. <laughs> I never get too high, never get too low, but just keep moving. You know, the whole story is Carlos never beat me in any kind of sports in, in, in high school. And my man Drake Barry, he says, how has Larry Ogunjobi looked so far? I know he has just gotten cleared. Zim, did you want to take that one or you want me to answer it? Yeah, right. Larry Ogunjobi was out, came back, uh, rave reviews. Joe Mixon even went out of his way to say, man, he's a monster. He had some really good reps against Michael Jordan. He had two right. good reps. Um, some of the drills, like one-on-one, he just he's just moving different. Like he's giving people, I'm not going to jump out there and say he's he's the new Geno, but just right. think of that role in Larry Ogunjobi. He's been showing up and flashing when he he was nursing an injury, came back this week, been killing it and been yeah. getting big reviews from people. Reader looked really good earlier today, too. That was another one. I think people people forget about Reader, though. Don't, don't you really feel do. like that? Yeah, they forget about Reader. Like he's the highest paid guy on the defense, but you don't really hear too much about Reader. And I don't know if it's just because he's not going to be sexy, flashy, getting a bunch of sacks. Right. But like he looked real, he looked like a beast when I saw him earlier today. The other guys that I've kind of forgot about as this is going on on that defensive line that we're going to talk about, Cam Sample and Joseph Osai, the rookies. Cam Sample, I believe, initially started out, uh, you know, hurt at one point. He was, They were waiting until it was safe for him to come back. He kind of flashed today. I think that he beat Jonah uh, on the left side for a rush. And then Osai has been putting some things together. How do you feel about those two guys coming in as rookies, obviously with us only having – 17 sacks last season they they've got to do something you know like I, it's the thing i've been saying all all season is like if you don't go get that veteran edge guy to like a guy that's been there before killing it you just gotta go okay let's let the young boys play it's getting so late in the game i'm starting to just there is one cut down that's coming up and i but it was so many guys for them to be had that i just don't see them doing it and i think that you're going to see you know sample and Osai, like, absolutely, like, think about Osai as, as far as, like, Carl Lawson's first healthy year. Like, the expectation should be there. Like, he he should be playing pretty much every third down. He should be looking at 300 snaps or something plus year one, like Osai. And then Sample, you know, I've been saying it all along, too. Think of him as, like, the uh, the Wallace Gilberry mode where Facts. anybody goes down. He's Think of almost like your swing tackle, like, on offensive line where we just talking about Fred Johnson. Anybody miss a beat, like, that's going to be the guy that's going to – he's going to have to kick inside sometimes. He's going to have to play out of position sometimes. He's just going to be a guy that they're going to call on if they get into a position like they did last year. So those are two guys that they're going to be heavy relying on. I think part of me is just maybe it's fear or something. I was just like, man, we need one more edge guy. And I, and I can see them maybe still doing it. But it appears as of right now, they're really leaning on them. They're looking good in camp. And so that's really promising, along with our boy Khaled Kareem. Nah, that's facts. I'm with you. I think Osai, I really think that he has a ton of potential and will really fit into that role where they wanted Dunlap. I always bring this up where when he was dropping into coverage, I think that Osai will fit really well in that area because he can rush and then he can cover as a former linebacker. Um, and he gives absolute effort. So like you said, when it comes to Cam Sample, I think he's a guy that they can use on the inside in that Wallace Gilberry mode, use him inside, outside. Um, and I'm excited to see what they can do there. Cool.